Here's how I grow aquatic plants without a CO2 system. First up is respiration because fish, shrimp, snails, plants and microorganisms all breathe by taking in dissolved oxygen and releasing CO2 which the plants can use for growth. Second is decomposition because uneaten food, waste and decaying leaves break down and release CO2 into the water which the plants can also use for growth. Finally we have gas exchange and credited Dan's planted tanks on TikTok for highlighting this approach which flips the more common method on its head. Most of us, including myself, try to limit surface disturbance in low-tech planted tanks to try and prevent equilibrium with the atmosphere and keep as much trapped CO2 in the water as possible. But Dan does the complete opposite. He's running high water flow so his plants consume the CO2 from the water and deplete it as fast as possible. That creates a deficit so surface agitation can actually pull in more CO2 from the atmosphere to reach equilibrium, effectively replenishing his CO2 for he does have a dedicated video on his TikTok going over how it works in a lot more detail but it's definitely something I want to incorporate more into my own tanks moving forward. The main takeaway is that you don't need an expensive CO2 system to get started in the planted tank hobby.